Oh boy, today, ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a treat. It is going to be a bit different episode. 5 Euro Tank versus 100 Euro Tank. Premium Tank. Tier 3 Premium Tank. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds stupid to even say it out loud, but in a game called World of Tanks, where we have 10 tiers, or actually unofficially 11 tiers, tier 11 vehicles like Chieftain, uh, 279E, and maybe some other tanks, we have one tier 3, or actually couple tier 3 or lower tier premium tanks uh, worth 100 euros. The vehicle itself is not worth as much, but the only way you are able to get it is you have to spend either 100 euros or 100 dollars or depends on which server you are playing on, of course, but um, yeah, basically the only way you are able to get it is you have to spend a shite ton of money. So what you are going to see today is two different replays with two different tanks. First up we have the 5 euro tank, or actually 485 I believe on the EU server at the moment. Boom, here is the offer as well, just for you guys. And uh, you are going to see the difference uh, what players uh, have to go through to get the same amount of damage done. I was uh, specifically looking for the same amount of damage done and the same matchmaking as well, so this one is also a full tier 3 matchmaking. And uh, T127, uh, no joke, is not a bad tier 3 premium tank. It is one of the best ones as well. It actually has some armoring uh, if you know how, how to play it, if you know how to use it, like Oleg is doing uh, what here in this battle you are able to get really nice battles and uh, definitely looking how Oleg behaves um, and uh, how he moves around on the battlefield uh, let's be honest over here it is a shameless seal clubbing action you can see full APCR loadout as well we have a large repair kit we have two repair kits actually this is really interesting by the way large and small repair kit and pinos and uh, how he moves behaves um, it is a shameless seal clubbing action but I was specifically looking Looking for a battle like this in AT-127 just to show you the difference between a 5 euro vehicle and 10 euro vehicle. What players have to go through, how much one player has to work in a 5 euro tank and how much the other player can simply cruise around and deal damage in a 100 euro premium tank. Let's see how it goes, let's see how you enjoy it, because I actually wanted to make this episode uh, like long long time ago, I had this idea I've written down for a very long time already, over one year most definitely, and usually when I have an idea I'm going to write it down to my notepad file so I'm not going to forget about it, over there at the moment I think I have something like 50 future video ideas, so guys don't worry I'm not going anywhere, you are able to enjoy my content or, or not enjoy my content for a very uh, long time. Time. And many new video ideas and uploads are still to come, so do not go anywhere, click that subscribe button. If it is still red, make it grey, it looks better that way. Join with the notification squad as well, because those people are awesome and yeah, enjoy the content, hopefully you do. So in this situation you were able to see how this uh, tank, how Oleg in this uh, T127 took out. I do not even know how many tanks uh, side scraping, like using all, using all the tricks and tips available in this game, basically pretty much. And this vehicle can be penetrated quite easily as well, even by D91. And boom, there is a Su-26 as well, tier 3 artillery. Uh, so he was put down to 11 HP, so now he has to work even more, side scraping and bouncing. So yeah, as I said, I was specifically looking for those replays where one player has to work his ass off <laughs> to carry this battle, to win this battle, to get a really good uh, score. 7 kills already, 1385 damage done, 712 damage bounced, uh, some assistance, um, everything over here. But he should be able to get some more hunting that artillery. Ooh, artillery is over here, artillery missed, but SU-26 is actually quite a fast firing artillery. Boom, there it goes. Yet another one bites the dust and this game is over ladies and gentlemen, 8 kills, beautiful. So quickly let's take a look at the result screen, Ace Tanker, uh, Spartan I believe and Top Gun because um, no Radley Walters in tier 3 I believe, <laughs> yeah, close to 1500 damage done, 8 kills, 1342 base experience and um, yeah, GG I guess, in 5 minutes, not bad.
Now let's move on into the 100 euro vehicle. And this battle comes from Xenomorph Dragon. It is once again a tier 3 battle, one artillery, so basically the same matchmaking. And this guy, Xenomorph Dragon, knows what is up. He already said, I know, I am a bastard for playing this perfectly balanced, quotes, perfectly balanced tank. Enjoy. Under his own replay. So, yeah, he knows what is up. Of course. Of course. We all know that this tank is, quotes, perfectly balanced vehicle. So, Xenomorph, don't worry, we can forgive you this time, but only this time. <laughs> uh, so, talking about the packages, uh, it has many different packages. Usually, this is what we get on the EU server. 30,500 gold plus uh, Panzer Duj uh, for 99 euros, but on US server, for example, for 99.99 dollars, you're able to get this tank plus carriage lot plus 100% crew and 24,000 gold or, or this one for 99. 99.99 dollars once again 360 days of premium time um, on asia server for example usd 100 for 25,000 gold or another package 25,000 gold and 99.99 usds but the funny thing is on the world of tanks wikipedia page the price tag of this vehicle itself is actually 1,000 gold <laughs> 1000 gold, but the only way how you're able to get it is you have to buy one of those crazy bundles. Do you want to get some gold? Oh, take this vehicle on the top of that. Or do you want to get some premium days? How about 360 days of premium days, but do you get this vehicle on the top of that? All you have to do is you have to spend only 99.99 dollars. Sounds like a good deal, right guys? And you were able to do all what Xenomorph Dragon is able to do over here. Simply cruising around, zero damage taken, and he has already bounced more damage than the guy, than the Oleg in the previous battle in the 5 Euro vehicle. There goes another one, another tank bites the dust, T-127. Oh, this is that 5 Euro tank, how about some penetrations into the side, uh, rare shots. Ooh, someone is actually able to penetrate you into the booper. Hmm, that sounds kinda odd. Um, hmm, I don't know, maybe we should actually make a dig uh, to, to Wargaming saying this vehicle is not so balanced after all. It is getting penetrated. <laughs> 1,100 damage bounced, 521 damage done, and a lot of credits lost. Because this is basically the only way how you are able to be useful damage-wise as well. You basically have to carry full APCR loadout. Because standard AP round is so bad, you are not able to penetrate anything besides artillery. Anything besides paper tanks. This is actually another crazy ridiculous thing about this vehicle. Standard rounds were made so bad, you are not able to penetrate anything. So you spend 100 euros for this vehicle to spend even more credits, to lose even more credits if you want to be useful in the battle as well, damage-wise. Otherwise, if enemy team is going to simply circle you to death, uh, they have tiny chances to penetrate the side, maybe the rear as well, as we were able to see. So if you want to survive in this tank, you have to spend crazy amount of credits. But surviving in this is easy. 5 HP left on this guy, who was able to penetrate you a couple times, and here it goes. Another clip into him, T127, hello, what is up? One shot went in, three HP left, and base is being captured by two tanks, by two enemy tanks. It is one versus five, by the way, because every single ally is dead. If um, Xenomorph Dragon is able to win this battle, it should be a 10 kill battle. Yes, so four vehicles left to kill. And by the way, look at our AMX-38. This guy had still 124 HP left, and he was destroyed because uh, someone killed every single crew member inside that tank. This is the only way how you're able to take out one tank uh, with some HP left. Uh, casual um, decapping over here. He did hit both vehicles into the tracks, I believe. Uh, got some critical hits into the tracks. Uh, both tanks with one clip. It was a prime example of uh, spray and pray. Uh, because with one spray, he was able to decap both tanks. And base has been decapped. Two seconds left. We had, or they had only two seconds left to gap. Let's see. 
Now 28 seconds left and they are still peeking on the move. Boom, once again, full decapping. Oh my god, this is just ridiculous. Let's simply cruise forward. Let's let's uh, see what we are able to do. Now received 8 damage from the Panzer 4A. Okay, this guy seems to be new. This guy doesn't uh, know what this tank is made of. Of course, 20 seconds left on the cap. Moving closer, 90 rounds left by the way guys, 90 rounds left. And you are going to see at the end of the battle how much credits, how many credits he actually lost. Finally decided to fully aim in one clip as well. Still APCR rounds are bouncing off, couple shots are bouncing off, couple shots are dealing damage. Boom, there goes another one, Panzer 1C. Panzer 1C is actually, might be actually a tricky tank for Panzer 2J uh, to take out because Panzer 1C has so much better mobility. And it is one versus one, so now the chase begins uh, in one of the slowest tier 3 premium tanks uh, versus the fastest uh, tier 3 uh, tanks in this game. Who is going to be on the top? Who is going to win this battle? Well, we all know who is going to win this battle, but how? So let's fast forward a bit. He decided to turn around because base is being captured once again by Panzer 1C. So where is this guy hiding? Let's see. Oh, there you are. Hello. Quick shot in. Base decapped once again. And uh, the chase begins. But uh, how he's going to win this battle is, um, well, kind of odd. Yeah. So let's fast forward once again. Driving, driving, driving. Trying to look for the Panzer 1C. Nothing spotted, this guy is simply hiding, because Panzer 1C uh, knows the only way how he's able to win this battle is pretty much with the base capture, and they are going to race for the base capture. So Panzer 2J was able to make it into the base, and uh, boom! Slightly over 5 seconds later, Panzer 1C decided to go for the base cap as well. So now Panzer 2J is going to win this battle because the difference, capping difference is 5 seconds. He's able to secure the battle victory before Panzer 1C is able to cap the base as well. But Xenomorph Dragon doesn't want to deal with that. He decides to go for quite a risky play over here because this vehicle is actually quite slow as you can see. On the best ground possible up to 29 km per hour. 10 seconds left on the base capture. 7 seconds left and hello Panzer 1C, you tried to carry this battle, you tried to win this battle with base capture, as I said, this most likely was the only possible way for him to do that, but no luck. 10 kills, this battle is over, with a victory, in a 100 euro tank, ace tanker. Kolobanov's Metal Defender, Cool Headed, Steel Wall, High Caliber, Top Gun, no Bulls Medal because in tier 3 battles you are not able to get Bulls Medal. Result wise, this battle is almost identical, I mean damage wise. 1460 damage done, 10 kills, 1310 experience. As I said, I was specifically looking for this type of battle. It was extremely risky move to go after that uh, full HP, almost full HP Panzer 1C at the end of the battle for two reasons. Number one, Panzer 2J is really slow and 382 shots fired in total in this battle. Xenomorph Dragon had only 18 rounds left in the tank. And look at this, 382 shots fired, 201 hits and 136 penetrations. So many shots, even so many premium shots, simply bounced off because the penetration is not the best. 152,000 spent on ammunition. If you want to get this tank, you have to pay so much money in the first place to spend even more credits in the game. <laughs> Tier 3 tank, 152,000 credits lost. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But GG. Good battle, I guess. Good battle. Ladies and gentlemen, 5 euro premium tank where you have to work your ass off to get this, uh, this type of battle, this kind of result versus 100 euro tank where you simply have to cruise around on the battlefield. You have to hope that your teammates are not able to kill every single tank super fast and you have to hope that you can do all the killing yourself. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, if you did, thumbs up button is for that, if you didn't, thumbs down button is for that, I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome guys, take care and bye.